18-year-old girl who spent most of her life in Uzbekistan learning how to be a decent Uzbek woman. I was able to experience the life in both rural and urban areas of the country as both of my parents originated from two different regions and moved to Tashkent to the capital before I was born. In these 18 years, I've learned that the Uzbek School of Morality teaches every child of the nation to value and carry on the lessons passed from the great ancestors. And I was always pleased and amazed by how my culture is able to insulate a special sense of tenderness and femininity into girls. And therefore, I am proud to be called an Uzbek woman. However, unfortunately, our culture still holds on to some, if not many, unwritten codes of conduct which diminish the role of females in the society. And no, I'm not a victim of one single event that caused me to speak today. But instead, I'm just an ordinary girl who experienced the life growing up in different contexts in Uzbekistan. And I'm here to speak to you about how this local society tried to shape my understanding of what it means to be a woman. One of the phrases that I used to hear pretty often when I lived in a traditional Uzbek Mahala was that the girls need to act modestly or otherwise they might stain or harm their reputation. This phrase did not only imply that we need to be thoughtful of our actions, but it also meant that we need to be unquestionably quiet and obedient to our families and especially our husbands. And it seemed to me that those but girls were raised towards marriage as if we were born for the sake of successful marriage. I repeatedly witnessed how it was the wife's responsibility to avoid any kind of conflicts with her husband, no matter how wrong or right anyone was. I was told that it's the biggest strategy for a girl to split up the engagement or the marriage no matter what or who was the cause of the split, the burden of shame would fall onto the shoulders of the girl. The shoulders of the girl. So these social assumptions about the woman's role in the society especially limited us when it comes to choosing one or the other professions for girls. I actually heard that there are certain jobs that are already prescribed to women. And in fact, one of my acquaintances from Sukhandaria once asked me, so what are you planning to do in your future? Do you want to become a nurse or a teacher? I said, well, what if I want to do something else? What if I want to become someone else? He answered, well, the nurse or a teacher are the best jobs for girls. Or do you want to master a certain craft like sewing in order to help your family financially? Knowing and understanding how this type of thinking and mindset did not just occur in a matter of one year or two, but rather it's been growing in thousands of other Uzbeks for years and years, I felt intimidated thinking about how this narrow range of social expectations were limiting females from experiencing more in their lives. So I wondered, does this mean that the women are therefore being limited and disempowered without even realizing it? Does this mean that the society we're living in is blinding us by telling that in order to be considered decent, we have to meet certain unwritten expectations and obligations? When I started studying at Tashkent International School, and after I was exposed to the norms of other foreign cultures, I had the option of forgetting about all these situations regarding the women's role, regarding my role in the local society. But instead, I became even more passionate about it. And I truly think that having the unique experience and opportunities to see things from wider perspectives, you and I, we must not use our positions to ignore this kind of issues, but rather to examine them even more closely. According to the research held by the UNESCO Institute of Statistics in 2018, the average number of years of education for girls in Uzbekistan is equal to 11.8, which is about 12 years, which makes sense because this is the exact minimum number of years any eligible person in Uzbekistan is required to get educated. And the reason why girls in Uzbekistan don't choose to get a higher education degree is that they simply get married early. The number of the average number of years of education for girls in the United States exceeds 17 years. 
and this number exceeds 23 years in Australia. So only a small number of girls in Uzbekistan get bachelor's degree, even fewer get master's degree, and even fewer get doctoral degree. This might sound as a collection of meaningless numbers for some of you, which basically satisfied the expectations that you have already had maybe before even coming here. But the issue is inevitably here, and it's affecting the societies of so many other developing countries like Uzbekistan. One cannot expect a positive change or a progress and development in the country, whereas almost half of the population is being socially limited. This problem is rather a big anchor that's holding the societies back from developing towards the real sustainable future. You see, women in Uzbekistan, on, on the first side, are given equal opportunities and rights by the government and law, and we can't get educated just on the same level as men. We can't choose whatever fields we want to work in. But the social system that's been stuck here for so many years is holding the local society back from achieving the real gender equality. And this problem, although we might be lucky enough to experience the international mindedness and we basically have very little chances of facing this problem in its most cruelty this problem is not just the problem of one minority group of women somewhere it's out there nowhere but it's the problem of all of us this might be just another talk about the issue that's been already discussed so many times by so many individuals all over the world but I truly believe that this topic is so important that it needs to keep resonating until enough people will realize its significance in determining the common well-being. So I'm asking you, what if women were really free from gender limitations? <laughs>